All right, you guys, here on Horoscope, it's Thursday, and I am day four, so that means we are going to be talking about Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street, part four, The Dream Master. Now, The Dream Master, 1988, directed by Rennie Harlan, and, you know, this one, part four, really, they had their work cut out for them, because, obviously, part one, a classic. Part two, some people go either way with it, um, but then part three came out so strong. I mean, it's one of, I think, behind the original, it's the strongest film in the franchise. So, you know, you're coming off a very strong film. You've got a relatively new director in Rennie Harlan at the time, and, uh, you know, it, it's tough to follow that up. I think they did a decent job with it. Not great, not horrible. I think it was just kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the aesthetics of the film, I thought looked pretty good. You know, they had good use of like reds and greens and the special effects looked good, especially in the beginning when Freddy was, you know, kind of resurrecting and all the bones were coming together and, um, what else? Oh, all the skin, you know, was going back on Freddy. That was very cool. And, uh, you know, Freddy looked good once again as far as the, the makeup. So, you know, that was good. Um, so, you know, there were some positives. You know, the acting was okay in it. Patricia Arquette didn't come back for this one, which, you know, is a bummer. But, you know, the girl who filled her place did okay. Uh, sad to see... Um, Kincaid die, even though he had a, a pretty lengthy death scene. Uh, they kind of gave him his dues, I guess, because he had one of the lengthiest death scenes, uh, you know, in the franchise. So it was a bummer to see him go. And then um, the other kid, Wes, you know, kind of the horny kid. Uh, he died in the waterbed. Um, you know... Overall, and then, you know, it kind of, halfway through the film, you kind of lose all of the original characters from part three, and then you're kind of moving on to the new cast in part four, and then part five, you get uh, Alice, and then um, Dan, the jock. And, you know, Dan was all right. Alice did a decent job. Um, you know, how she gained all the other, the deceased characters, traits and strengths and stuff. And there were some decent kills. I mean, you had, um, you know, the one girl became a bug and she was in the, the, the Roach Hotel. And then the other girl, the, the like the female Urkel, she kind of had the, you know, the life sucked out of her. And um, so, I mean, the, the deaths were good. Freddy is really using his one-liners in this one started in the last one and it continues on into part four but I, it's it was difficult well especially when I watched the the franchise all the way through and you know just kind of one by one because three is such a strong one and then you come to this one and it's like oh, okay this one's all right but you know, obviously not the worst one out of the bunch, in my opinion. Um, at, you know, definitely worth a watch. It continues on the story. But, uh, you know, one of the cheesy scenes that I wasn't particularly fond of is, like, you know, the pizza scene. That was kind of, that was kind of lame in my eyes, just in my eyes. And, you know, the invisible kung fu death, Rick's invisible kung fu death, that was ridiculous but uh i don't know otherwise it was all right you had a lot of kung fu you know who knows it, it was an all right flick but that is uh the dream master please join us tomorrow when um we are going to be talking about what part five the dream child and I'll continue on through the weekend. Hope you guys are doing good. And I will see you next week.